so dabbed up by Alexei Ermanov, Mikhail Shaidrov from Kazakhstan. He struggled with his usually reliant quad loops in the short program. That will be the first jumping pass, but look out for the monstrously big combination he has planned as the second element. Triple axle quad toe intended. just has such a an efficient rotational position he assumes it so easily and effortlessly Mikhail Shaidrov from Kazakhstan. Interesting as to his reaction to the performance. Certainly 
significantly better than that which was delivered in this short program. Today, managing that quadruple loops has come in as having a Q mark on the landing of that, so that a quarter rotation short. So previously, he had a huge boost in the grade of execution for that jump, but now the judges are forced to drop that a little lower. And then the third jumping pass went in the system as a quad loops with repeat. As Urmanov looks him right side. But ah, yes, it was a quad flip. Technical panel initially inputting that as a loops, not a flip, which it was there. The quad loops and done with such quality. Here was the combo that was intended to be triple axle, but too much of a. Oh, whoa! It was quad toe. I thought it was, and it went in the system as triple axle, triple toe. Okay, we have just seen something monumentous. I, I, was, I apologize to everybody watching. When I saw it, it looked so ridiculously effortless that I thought it was triple axle. I thought it was triple axle quad toe. It went in the system as triple axle, triple toe. But no, Mikhail Shaidarov has done history making in doing a combination of momentous difficulty. Triple axle quad toe, a base value of 17.5. The GOE has added that to make almost 19 points. No wonder now the reaction to it. I apologize to Mikhail because what has just been done here is off the scale impressive. He has done something. <laughs> sets a new precedence. So, quad loops to start, then triple axle quad toe, not the triple toe we initially thought, then quad flip. And that really serves as a testament to how good his technique is, that he can make the assimilation of his rotational position so quick, so seamless, so effortless, that the technical panel, and myself included, questioned the rotation that was done. Huge kudos to Michal and his team here. How much will that help though? So it's 151.97. So even though he's delivered incredible feats unseen before, the skating skills, the presentation and the composition and some of the technical mistakes later on prevent him from being competitive here.